the ancient main square of Venice, surrounded by Gothic architecture and St. Mark's Basilica, covered in several feet of water. The tables at sidewalk cafes are submerged, but people might be comfortably seated anyways. We see iconic photos pop up every year of sunken cafes, flooded hotels, and people swimming in the world-famous St. Mark's Square. They're images that define Venice, which has been nicknamed the Floating City. This year, Venice experienced the worst flooding in the last decade. Tourists strapped on knee-high makeshift rain boots, and they didn't let five feet of water stop them. For Venetians, flooding is a yearly occurrence. But what causes the city to flood? How does the city handle the rising waters? And will the floods get worse as climate change advances? The flooding has a name. It's called the Aqua Alta, which translates to high waters. It occurs from late September and can last through April. And the most famous place to experience the floods is St. Mark's Square. It's one of the lowest areas in the city, so it floods more frequently. But chances are most of Venice is dry. Typically, only 10% of the city is flooded during the Aqua Alta. But when the floods reach higher levels, like this year for instance, over 75% of the city could be submerged. So one of the things that we only saw in videos was that this place actually sinks when there's high tide. And they weren't lying about this. All of the streets are flooded. Venice is composed of 100 little islands connected by bridges. These islands sit within the Venetian lagoon. When the moon's gravitational pull lines up with hot, humid winds coming from northern Africa, water is forced from the Adriatic Sea into the Venetian lagoon. And this extra water causes Venice to flood. As Venice experienced five feet of water this year, we asked, will the floods get worse? The short answer is yes, the floods are going to get worse. And that's because of two reasons. The first is climate change. As climate change worsens, sea levels will rise. A study published by Nature Communications found that 97% of Venice will be at a flood risk if we don't change our current actions. And the second reason is because Venice is sinking. Venice has weak foundation and sits on shifting tectonic plates, which are causing the city to slowly submerge. But Venetians are inventive. When floods occur, the city adapts. Elevated walkways are built across the city and shop owners use floodgates and pumps to keep water out. Some owners get creative. Take the Liberia Aqua Alta, for example. The entire store is designed for floods. Bathtubs and gondolas are filled with books, so if it floods, the books are kept dry. Qualcuno ha gli stivali, oppure qualcuno si leva anche le scarpe, per non bagnare le scarpe. Qualche assa le metto, ma poco poco. No, è sempre aperta le prime, anche quando c'è la parte. And for the most part, the city continues its daily life. Hotels continue running, shops remain open, and even marathons are still held. It doesn't stop tourists from visiting the floating city either. Instead, rain boots are bought and the city is explored. 